Hello everyone, so in this video I'm showcasing you is a clip that I played back in April this past year and it was Life is Strange Before the Storm, the remastered version and what I'm showcasing you is the play from episode 2, The Tempest and I'm showcasing you the whole scenery from the beginning to the end and I was talking in this video but unfortunately you're going to only hear me talk for like the first two minutes in the beginning of the video the rest of the video was completely gone I don't know how I lost my my commentary but it was unfortunate and it you're gonna hear me talk until after the conversation between Nathan and his father and it sucks there was no commentary for me but you're gonna get a good video so hope you guys like the video subscribe and hope you guys enjoy she's early <laughs> This day has been so messed up. In that hospital, Mike could tell me what happened. Poor Drew. I'm still stunned. Thank you for what you did. Shit, I'm glad you're going. Let me know if I can help more. Thanks, I will. At least I can talk to Rachel now. If I can find her back here. I've already seen what happens when Rachel plays with fire. Rachel plus swords should be fun. Happened in Drew's room. Like really bad. Oh no. Are you okay? Did you need to talk about it? Yeah, later. Don't worry until the show is over. On my way. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David <laughs> dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Know. Or did David Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Go fuck yourself. Uh, all right. Um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. Great, uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. That was it. <laughs> S.G. Must be Steph. Sucks that she has Steph to Gingrich. miss this. Duh. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Ah, uh, the birds. The girl. The desire to be free. Ah, oh, how romantic. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love exists? <laughs> sure, I think so. But it's a lot weirder and scarier than poets and pop songs make it out to be. <laughs> you might be surprised, my dear. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh -huh. Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is... Weird. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. And the football team will just bully me more. Why do you suppose that is? 
Sean Prescott. I don't know. Because you show weakness. Just like you're doing right now. But Dad. When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. My name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Slut shaming? Sluts shame themselves. <laughs> Another witty rebuttal by VC. Hey, Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. <laughs> Are you kidding? Who cares if he's an asshole? Nathan's dad is a bajillionaire. I'd take that over poor and nice any day. Money isn't everything, Chloe. Yeah, that's what people with money keep telling me. But it's true. If you look past his money, I think you'd see that you and Nathan are actually a lot alike. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. I think you stood up for Nathan yesterday because you know what he's going through. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? When I'm super pissed, <laughs> the last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. But maybe it's what I need. Nathan acted like he didn't want our help yesterday. But he was probably glad we tried, <laughs> even if it didn't work out great. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. That's actually super helpful. Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Rachel? Whatever that was, it was shady as shit. I need to find whatever Victoria slipped into that drink. Muscle relaxers?
What are you doing here? This area is for cast and crew only. Or are you only here to try and sabotage the play like you sabotaged my homework? Ugh, God, you're pathetic. I'm here to support Rachel. How nice. I want to make sure she's relaxed before the show. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, Rachel Amber, it was customary among the thespians of ancient Greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night, as a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage. It is in that spirit that I offer you this beverage. May it help to reveal the essence of your talents for all to see. Wow. That, um... Thanks. Hold up. Did you hear that? Hear what? I didn't hear anything. Oh, I hear it now. It, it sounds like Mr. Keaton's calling for you. He is? Oh, he probably wants my thoughts on the set dressing. Okay, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. What's going on? Bitch, dosed your tea. That is... the least surprising thing ever. What should we do? Problem solved. Damn, Chloe Price. What would I do without you? Have super relaxed muscles, I guess. Uh, Mr. Keaton's busy with Nathan. I'm sure he'll call on my aesthetic sensibility soon. In the meantime, let us drink. Oh, make sure you drink it all. Your instrument will thank you. I am so grateful to have such a kind and caring friend as you, Victoria. Aw, Saintsies. Saintsies, too. Anyway. I'll see you out there. Break a leg. So... That happened? <laughs> Just when I thought this day couldn't get any batshit crazier. Oh, hey. Uh, that's mine. A shirt for a free spirit. I knew you were gonna pick that one. You can read me like a script, Rachel Amber. Sweet pardon. We're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Mr. Cretan, I have revelations to reveal. Rachel Amber is on drugs. Look at her. Her face is so blurry and pretty. Uh, she's clearly been drugged. I mean, drugged herself. She loves drugs. Don't you? <gasps> Touché, fates. Touché. What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? 
Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please, for me. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? <laughs> when life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. <sighs> Got it. The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. <sighs> Looks like I'm late, as usual. Accident most strange. Bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. <gasps> Thou art inclined to sleep. <clears throat> Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. <gasps> oh. That's you. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his... Bold waves, uh, tremble. 
My brave spirit! Who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason? Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Cried, <clears throat> hell is empty and all the devils are here. Yes! But are they, Ariel, safe? All right, I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle. In troops! Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? <laughs> My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Key, they're way off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. You crushed it. So good. You're a born thespian, my dear. I'll be chasing you down next year. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. Thanks. What the hell just happened? The strangeness of Was no that story real? Put heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban, come forth, I say. As wicked do as e'er my mother brushed with raven's feather from unwholesome fen. Drop on you both. 
A southwest blow on ye, and blister you all o'er. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Oh ho, oh ho, would it had been done. Thou didst prevent me, I had peopled else this isle with Calibans. Fetch us in fuel. And be quick. So, slave, hence. Where should this music be? In the air or the earth? This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor. Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit, of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you? His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have mine own. Pray, release me from my bands with the help of your good hands. Isn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead.